My name is Katie Arjona and I am on the theater faculty and the dance faculty here in the upper school and also in the middle school as well. And I direct the production of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Hi, my name is Jillian Stoltz. I'm a senior and I'm playing Katrina Von Tassel. My name is Haley. I am a senior this year. Uh, and this year I am playing, my main role is Parson Van Houten, um, but I also play a couple of ensemble members. This particular performance, being outdoor theater, presents a lot of different new challenges. We're in a global pandemic. We have dealt with a lot of bugs. Swarms of dragonflies attack us. Slugs, fire ants, bees, you name it. In the weather, we were pushed back by Hurricane Zeta. We were out here one time and it was like in the 30s. It was in our thin costumes. It was kind of a lot of fun. Um, even just our rehearsal process has been a little bit different than what we're used to. Um, but it is, it's, um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun and it's definitely been an adventure. The performance piece, of course, is, is certainly different as well too, but also being the fact that we're dealing with safety mitigation uh, to make sure the audience is safe, you know, just even the outside where the audience sit for is like completely different. It's really important to me that the kids do I mean, theater. I mean, I really want them to have some kind of normalcy, right? And so my drama kids need that outlet. They need that creativity. They need the camaraderie, the collaboration. They need all of that time together. And so I was really trying to think of a way to do it in person. I think they want to do something so badly. They're going to do whatever it takes to do theater again. So if that means you know, putting on a mask halfway through the production or coming to rehearsal in masks or, you know, sitting outside on a chair and fight fire ants while they eat dinner. Like they're gonna do whatever they've gotta do. Um, and so I, I think kids in general are resilient no matter what, right? And I sometimes think we don't give them credit for being very resilient in this pandemic that we're in. And I think these kids in particular have certainly proved that wrong because they're resilient and they even come to me and say, you know, we could still do this if we did this. You know, and I think I think that speaks to I think that just speaks to Walker kids. I mean Walker kids are just that way. You know, they an obstacle comes up and they're like, okay, let's figure out how we can overcome the obstacle. We couldn't build the stage from the ground up starting in August like we traditionally would if we were inside, right? Your, our stagecraft classes could not start building the set and just keep adding to it until opening night. So they actually had to construct the set in like a puzzle piece, basically. You know, they had plans where they constructed this piece of the roof, this piece of a wall, etc. And then they loaded it into a big container, which is actually up in the upper parking lot, and waited until the company that we rented our stage and light grid from showed up and installed. Once they installed, then they had to take all of those pieces that they had put together and align them and screw them in and hope that all of the plans that they had done worked, right, first of all. Um, I think the lighting kids, you know, they have to set up every night. Every night, any kind of light that's out, they have to set up, they have to refocus, they have to tie trash bags around the lights at night to make sure that they don't get exposed to the elements. The speakers have to be tied in. I mean, we have a huge gutter that runs from the stage all the way up to the back of the theater with cables in it as well. We have normalcy in the technical element, except for it's in a much more compacted time frame. You know, they would be able to stretch things out and kind of do things piece by piece over a series of weeks, but this was really like, okay, we're gonna prep, and then we had to wait in a holding pattern, and then it was like full force every day, let's do this, we've gotta do it in like two or three days. Some people have actually said that while they're sitting outside and they're watching a show, they suddenly have this feeling of normal, and that things around in the real world have kind of faded away for a little bit. That's ultimately what we want. I mean, we want people to come for the two hours and be here with us and not worry about anything else that they gotta do. This says that we can do whatever we wanna do if we put our mind to it. That's what Walker does. You know, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna find a way to do something and it might not work successfully the first time, but that's not gonna stop us. We're just gonna keep on going. And I think that's what those kids would say too. This shows that we can, we can really tackle anything we put our minds to. We're a very special program. Miss A has really done a crazy great job. 
just putting this all together and making it safe and just the best show that I think we could have ever imagined for the situation. And it just shows the, the freshmen and sophomores and all the younger actors out there that, you know, just because we're in these crazy, crazy times right now, we can still perform and we can still bring art to the community and to the world. <laughs> Walker students are strong. We really are. We were trying very hard and Walker teachers were trying very hard to get us back on campus and still have some of the same opportunities and that's what's made it a lot easier to be a senior this year going through all of this was all of that support from everybody trying to just go back to a little bit of normalcy. And so um, this show definitely shows, you know, that we can do it and we can keep trying and we can keep coming up with solutions, even if it's not the ideal thing. We can, we can get there, we can get to a solution. I can safely say this has been one of the most interesting shows I've ever put on and one of the most fun, just because of how close we've all gotten in dealing with the bumps in the road and getting past them.